So I suppose I should just skip to the news story instead of telling you guys about why I haven't been on the last couple weeks. Okay, now the story I'll be pulling from is fairly old at this point, December 18th to be precise. However, that doesn't change the fact that it can and will affect things in the future. That is to say that Google Stadia is not the best rendition that we can get. And there are two other major companies watching this massive launch. Those would include Amazon and Facebook if the title didn't give it away already. Of the two, Amazon is already in a in the best place out of the three to deliver this. I say this because of their integration into cloud-based and delivery services, which is already integrated into a large percentage of the internet. And there is also Twitch Prime, or Twitch, depending on what whatever it is you decide to do, or watch, or whatever. And Amazon Game Studios, which, which in fact announced a game during the Video Game Awards called New World. Just the simple fact that they are capable of delivering not only first party but third party content through Amazon Web Services and as a, a secondary subscription tier to Twitch is just resounding to me. Well, not really resounding, but astounding, I should say. And they are the most likely to be able to launch a successful version of this type of product. Although Google has its own type of name recognition, Amazon is much better suited to deliver this product. Then I should probably get into the reason why Facebook is as well. Over the years, they have been acquiring a number of new studios. One of them, which I'm sure many of you are very well aware at this point, is Oculus. They acquired that one back in 2014 for about $2 billion. And around the 17th or so, it, it was announced that Facebook had acquired a Spanish startup focused on the cloud delivery of video games called PlayGiga for the approximate price of a, of $78 million. Now, as you could probably guess, that alone does not, does not guarantee them. However, the, the fact that they have been attempting to grow and just be able to generate all this first party content not not just through zynga or their their mobile games or whatever but also through cloud services which they will inevitably use facebook has a history of integrating each acquisition at some point into their general plan now this one is as you could probably guess the closest to what Stadia is. And be up between those two, Amazon and Facebook make very viable competitors to what the Stadia is. That is a cloud delivery of video games. It doesn't require a console or anything like that. But rather either downloads or just straight streaming of video games. And due to their brand recognition and general reach, it could very easily be ascertained that they are, as I said, just as if not better suited to deliver this kind of content than Google is. And I believe that's the end of the story. Been here for about five minutes now. And for those of you that 
are still here. You can find a you can find a uh, Google Stadia Buddy Pass, good for three months in the description. It it came with my my Stadia Founders Edition, and I haven't been able to find anybody to give it to. So hopefully you guys want it. Like I said, it's good for three months. The Stadia Pro comes with two free games every month. Blah blah blah. Okay, have fun. Ta ta for now.